Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on our channel, Flippin' Hippos, today. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please consider subscribing to the channel and helping us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you're listening today. Today we're taking a look at what sold on Poshmark in the month of April. I've pulled up the highlights from the month of April. I haven't pulled up all of our sales. Just some things I wanted to talk about with you and highlight um, from the month of April. I did pull up all the plushies that sold. You guys know I love my plushies, so I do try to show you all of those. We sold three plush on Poshmark in April. One was this Cloud Island Elephant Lovey. And this actually sold in less than a week. So if you haven't heard me tell you before on this channel, loveys are Ebola. Even the low-end bread and butter sales will add up, and they sell, they sell fast. Say that three times fast. Um, but if you can find these, you know, for under a dollar in wholesale lots, even the fifteen, even the twelve-dollar ones to me are worth listing. They typically sell pretty quickly. There are some loveys that can go for thirty, forty, fifty, sixty bucks. Uh, you know, I get them all. I take them all home with me when I find them and on the wild. I list them all for my wholesale lots, so I'm not really discerning. Um, but if you don't like filler or bread and butter, you can always comp them before you purchase them and bring them home. But loveys are definitely a bolo. This one sold for 15 Isn't he cute? All right. Next up, we have a tie-dye rainbow Build-A-Bear. This sold for $20. I want you to keep in mind that on Poshmark, they're also paying shipping. So those of you that are listing Build-A-Bear teddy bears, especially unique special ones like this, on eBay for $10 and $8, y'all are some turds. Build-A-Bear is a luxury brand of stuffed animals. And I said what I said about turds. If I can get $20 plus $7 shipping for this bear on Poshmark, there is no reason why you can't list this for $20 free ship on eBay. Yes, it is a different clientele over there and they don't pay as much money, but you put $20 free ship or, you know, 15 plus five ship if you don't like to do free shipping and you got a little wiggle room, you can even sell it for 18 on eBay. You're always going to get more money on Poshmark, but Build-A-Bears aren't trash. They're not a bad brand. They're a luxury brand. They're still considered, you know, they're not claw machine. They're a good brand. And I don't start any of mine for under 18. So there you have my step, my soapbox, almost said step stool. <laughs> you have my soapbox about Build-A-Bears today. Okay, guys, this is a Disney Parks blanket from a plush. So it's a replacement piece. The original piece did have the um, the Yeti or the Abominable Snowman from the Frozen movie wrapped in this blanket. If you've never seen these little plushies, they're really cute. They're Disney babies. Here's what the tag looks like. Keep your eye out for these. So it'll say Disney babies, Disney parks, and it has a little stork. You see them? And they'll have a Disney character usually portrayed as a baby wrapped up in these little blankets and they have little velcro hook and loop pieces that wrap around the baby so like it's a burrito if you find the blanket with the plushie oh my god bolo if you find just one or the other you can list it as a replacement this sold in under a week for eight dollars only but this is poshmark again so they're paying shipping so this is something i would have put for 12 or 14 on ebay um and i just put replacement blanket and then you just have to put in here, sale is for blanket only, Yeti stuffed animal not included. Now, had I found the Yeti and not the blanket, it would have said replacement plus year stuffed animal, sale is for Yeti only, not blanket not included. So when you find pieces or parts, especially to like Bolo brands or Bolo plushies, always list them as a replacement. You can still sell these. Um, kids are losing stuff all the time, right? Children always lose things and parents are always looking for a replacement and they go online to look for it all right those were the three plushies that sold so we're going to take a look at two bundles we did on poshmark 
Um, this is an example of some of like our lower end bread and butter poop brands we've been trying to clearance out this year. And so, you know, when we had the opportunity to let these go in a bundle, we sure did. I sure did. This is stuff I'm trying to clearance out. If I can get rid of three in one fell swoop and ship them all together, especially on Poshmark where the buyer pays the shipping. Goodbye, Felicia. Have a nice life at your new forever home. So, you know, we earned $16 on some poop we're trying to get rid of. And then these are decent bread and butters. These are um, Isabel Maternity. I would not source these in the wild if I saw them. I'm not a big fan of doing any kids or maternity clothing. However, sometimes kids and maternity clothing comes to me via a wholesale purchase or a thread up box that I will list them. So we sold the uh, package or bundle, I should say, of two pairs of maternity jeans to one buyer. Then we have cut from the cloth women's size eight flare leg i still like cut from the cloth cut from the cloth say that again um it's a decent I, i'd have to call it a bread and butter brand now it used to be a bolo brand but y'all know what i'm gonna say right don't race to the bottom don't participate in the race to the bottom don't be part of the problem i need to like create a slogan with little dancing turds little dancing poops like do you guys remember the old let's go out to the movies and have ourselves a snack and it had like the dancing popcorn and hot dogs i need dancing poops with a little jingle about not racing to the bottom anyway these sold for 21 dollars. i'm happy with that these are a good bread and butter brand lucky brand again it's a good bread and butter brand i like these these also had like um, these aren't your traditional shark bite hems. Shark bite hems usually come up in like a V. If you can imagine like a V, like a shark bite. But we called these shark bites in the keywords. Close enough. Right? So for 17 So this would have been a $25 sale on eBay because we do free shipping over there. And I won't go, you know, $20, $25 for luckies. Rock in Republic Cassandra jeans, $25. It's always good on Poshmark when stuff sells for your full asking price without having an offer because you're going to make more money because they pay shipping. Rock and Republic is a bread and butter brand. I think some people call it poop. That's cool. Less competition for me, right? This is a guest Western shirt, Pearl Snap. So you guys know probably already by now you've heard the news. Keith and I love Pearl Snap shirts. And we grab any brand we find if the price is right. And that's $2 or less. This sold for 12 bucks, And this is a Vineyard Vines. I know 19 sounds kind of low, but this that would have been like a $26 sale on eBay. And when you comp Vineyard Vines, unfortunately, you're going to be looking at right around 30 bucks anymore. Can you guess why? Do I need to say it? Vineyard Vines used to be a very expensive, sought-after Bolo brand. But I don't have to say it. You know what I'm thinking. Gap. Love Gap. It's one of my favorite bread and butters. And I list these for 20 free ship on eBay all day long. And I put them over here on Poshmark for 20 expecting to take offers. But if they sell for 20 hey, 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 more money for us. This is a poopy brand of shorts that came to me in a thread up box and I listed them anyway. And guess what? They sold for $14. Love jean shorts. They're a world of their own. Poop brands even sell. Men's Wrangler pants, new with tags. These were a 99 cent find. Exciting 99 cent find. Sold for $22. Silver. I don't need to say it. This would have been, you know, a $33 sale on eBay because I usually build an $8 for shipping. I start my silvers at $40 and I take best offers of anywhere from $30 to $35 or up, maybe $37 anymore. You used to start these at $50. McDonald's Apparel Collection. So, McDonald's, Starbucks, Chick fil A. 
um, FedEx, USPS, UPS, all those uniforms, scrub tops, chef's jackets, chef pants, anything that's a uniform, you know, we consider those bolos. They sell for bread and butter prices, but they sell fast. Uniforms usually don't take that long to sell. This McDonald's shirt sold for 20 bucks. Chico's, so slimming. So I have a rule with Chico's anymore. Um, I used to get all Chico's I found. It used to be a better brand. I kind of don't. I leave it behind, even if it's only 99 cents. Unless it's the so lifting or the so slimming. Then I will grab them. And those typically do really well. They're just like any jeans that have any kind of lifting or slimming technology to them. Democracy is another brand. The, I want to want a better butts but i love yous there's several brands that have like these slimming uh features and women like those and they do sell really well a pair of lucky brand capris sold for 14. and that would have been like a 22 dollars sale on ebay so keep that in mind when you see like oh my gosh how can you sell you know some of these things because i offer 30 percent off on certain days on poshmark i send out in bulk 30 percent off offers and i have the room to do that because first of all i price higher than other comps on ebay and they're paying the shipping over here so lee 16 dollars sale this would have been 24 on ebay these are size 16. I typically don't mess with Lee, really. Um, you know, occasionally if it's 99 cents at the thrift and it's a plus size, I will because it does have a loyal following. American Eagle, one of my favorites. So this is an example of, you know, something that went on a 30% off sale. It did have some wear as shown and as disclosed. Here, there is wear on the inner thigh as pictured. Um, but this still would have been like a $20 sale on eBay. So I'm okay with doing the 30% off over here once a week or so. Levi's $721. So this would have been a $37 sale on eBay, right? You get in the, the thought process here. That's how I look at things on Poshmark. These were new with tags. And these, I believe, were a find in Florida right before we left. And I paid $250 for them. Okay, next up we have another pair of gaps. These are sexy boyfriend jeans with rips and tears. Ripping in the tearing. Sexy boyfriend. Whenever Gap has 1969 in it, I do put that in. Um, the Gap 1969 does sell a little faster than just regular Gaps. And I feel like the 1969 has a has a following more so than just the overall following gap has as a brand in general so i always put 1969 in the title and then last but not least uh not your daughter's jeans here's another pair of jeans that has a tummy tuck another example of a good brand um i did mention them earlier when i was discussing brands that have slimming but not your daughter's jeans almost always has the tummy tuck which is just a slimming um part of the jeans not your daughter's jeans has a solid loyal customer base uh people that wear these that find their size and their style they're comfortable they fit that's all they want to wear they can't find them anymore they come online to shop of course this is another brand that fell victim to the race to the bottom i remember when i could start these for 40 but i was happy to get 20 for these so those are the highlights of our Poshmark sales from the month of April. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about Posh in general, or anything you saw here today, or even reselling, you know, join my Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Number one, join the group. You can ask questions in there. It's a very positive group full of really amazing resellers who are helpful. No one's going to be mean to you. You can ask new que newbie questions and stuff like that. You can tag me. You can leave comments on this video. Someone will help you if you have questions. Go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.